Good morning. I had a few people ask me how to use the freestyle um, mouse cutter from Purple Cows. So I thought I would do a really quick tutorial, just kind of show you how easy it is. Um, one thing is, you just pop this open, you turn it like this to change the blade. It's very, very easy, but that's not what I get questions about. I get questions saying that it won't cut. And the reason it's not cutting, or usually anyways, is just because you have to take it and I have the straight blade in here right now. You're going to push down with your finger and you're going to get a firm push and then you're going to go. And that's it. It's so easy to do. Just, you got to remember, a lot of times people want to hold it backwards, which it does work this way, but you're going to have to press with your palm that way. But if you want to press it this way or you want to turn it this way, you want to have your finger on it and then you're going to you're going to use it just like a mouse you're going to press down here and then you're going to begin your cut and that's going to be your cut and remember the freestyle mouse is the only one on the market as of CHA last year that cuts clear scraps and acrylic without tearing it so this is perfect it's a good blade it cuts glitter cardstock really well too which is a big yay and then also the freestyle cuts any direction you want you can see that and it also cuts with decorative blades which a lot of the girls ask me if they work as good as the scissors. Yes, they do. So see there? Can you see the... Well, I'm trying to get a good... It's really rainy outside, but I'm trying to get a good view of the decorative blade. See, that was the small scalloped one. So, anyways, that's about all there is to it. You just press it on where you're going to start cutting. You make sure you press down, and you don't have to have a lot of pressure, but you have, enough, have to have enough pressure to cut. And then you're just going to hold it down while you cut. And that's it. All right, well, I hope this makes it a little easier for you to use. If you have any other questions, please let me know.